siblings. Today we are going to be talking to my past self and my future self. So in 2021, I posted the first of this video. It was like September 2021 and I asked my 2022 self some questions and then my 2022 self answered them and asked my future self questions, but I didn't film one in 2023. So I'm filming one now. I guess we kind of skipped a year and also the format I did it in didn't really make sense for asking my future self questions. So bear with me as my old self asks the questions and sometimes there's context and sometimes there's not but let's just hop in with the first question so how's consistency on social media as far as youtube i actually am not as consistent as i used to be but i got a job which is such a big transition um i actually just got promoted last week too i just post when i can so i am very consistent on youtube right now i'm posting two to three times a week on this main channel and once a week or once every other week on my reading channel which is linked below and you don't have a job anymore so that's great also i look so good in this video i really said full face of makeup we're going all out today i'm recovering from being sick i like low-key don't have a voice and look like i've been in bed for multiple days so my bad okay don't compare me to her she did a full face of makeup i didn't want to do that <laughs> moving on how is this year so far this has been the year for us okay we have grown more than we ever have in our entire life it was the year of healing of moving on of like new era in life it was my coming of age era it really was um i know the year's not over yet but this was literally probably the best year of my life i have nothing really terrible to say about this year honestly from january to now it's been amazing so when I was filming that video, I was 21 and being 22 was actually the best year of my life. I guess my life just keeps getting better and better. When I was 20, I was still kind of like healing and growing. When I was 21, I think I was figuring out who I was. And when I was 22, I feel like I really leaned into who I was. I became my own, you know, independent individual. I made a lot of friends and the year of being 22, so most of 2023, was actually way better than the year that I just said was my best year in this video. So that is a great upgrade. <laughs> Did you stay consistent with fitness? Yes, Sydney, I did. For like five months, I was in the gym six days a week. I haven't been as regular with fitness since starting my job, I will admit, but I'm still pretty active. I go on walks a lot and every once in a while I'll head over to the gym. So as far as fitness right now, I've been really consistent just all of like my age of being 22. I would go through ups and downs around the time of the wedding and everything. I wasn't as consistent. I was playing a lot of pickleball, but not necessarily in the gym. Recently, um, since like November, I've pretty much been going every week at least three to four times a week. So I've been very consistent with working out. And then I recently just started meal prepping and stuff in February, kind of fell off with my birthday and my brother's birthday and everything but i started that back up today what color is your hair what have you been doing to it at some point in this video and like i said it doesn't really make sense because i was talking to my past self so the way i had to cut this up to respond to my past self now i had talked about how my hair was really short and that was a good thing and i looked really good because it was dead so i had to cut it and i was planning on trying to keep it blonde as long as i can i ended up in 2023 june ish i decided to dye my hair back to my natural color and i think that was like the best decision i think it just looks the best on me low maintenance i don't have to go into the salon ever and I'm growing out my hair. I think my hair is my favorite right now that it has been since it was long last. I just don't like myself with short hair. It looks good in this video of my past self because I had put in the effort to style it and everything. And I also, after that, had dyed it like silver and cut my bangs again. So I went through a lot of different stages in my hair, but I really like it. It's more natural, long. Hopefully I can grow it out even more. I don't foresee myself wanting to change it in the near future just because it costs so much and takes so much time. Did you happen to have a viral video? I had some viral videos on TikTok, but I think here I was more so referring to YouTube. I barely posted on YouTube like all of being 22. So no, no viral videos. Um, that's not necessarily the goal, but that'd be great. <laughs> Any random hobbies? So I used to go through phases and I guess I still do where I become obsessed with something for like a month or two and that is just my whole life and that is my hobby. So I got into hot yoga back in like November and I was really into that. I had to cancel my membership when I got let go from my job, but my stepmom got me a gift card back to my hot yoga studio. So I'm gonna be going again soon. 
soon. Uh, I'm in general, I'm just really into fitness. I started running. I haven't done that as much recently, but it's finally getting warm out so I can start running again. Lifting weights pretty heavy, all the fitness stuff. I like fitness, that's kind of one of my hobbies. And then another big hobby that I picked up back in November is reading. I even have a whole reading channel now. So we love reading and pretty much if I'm not working on my YouTube channel or like at the gym or cooking food or talking to people, I'm reading. I really love reading. Do you still live in the Houston area? I don't live in the Houston area, that's crazy. So originally I had lived actually in the city of Houston, then I moved out to like a suburb right outside of Houston that I absolutely love that area. And I really, really miss it. I miss my friends, I miss our church. Everything about that area, like I swear, made me thrive as an individual. Just the community there was amazing. But I live back in my hometown, which is like a whole story I've kind of talked about a little bit on my channel, but basically me and my now husband decided to move back to my hometown and buy a house here. Did you end up buying a house? My next question, did I end up buying a house? Yes, so we bought this house and we sold my rental house so we could buy this house. We remodeled it. I just had posted a remodel video, so if you guys haven't seen that, it's like a full recap from the day we bought the house and moved in to like today. So it shows everything that we did. Hopefully we can refinance soon when the interest rates drop because our interest rate is like 8.12 or something and it is literally awful. I don't have a job, so. Are you and your boyfriend still living together? Yes, me and my boyfriend are still living together. We got, well, let me just hop to the next question. And I'm actually gonna throw this in. It might be a little crazy, but when God writes your story, <laughs> Are you engaged? I love how it's like, this might be a little bit crazy. Um, when I filmed that video, being engaged wasn't really on the table. I went ring shopping February 2023. This video was shot in September of 2022. So it was a little bit after I filmed this video that we went ring shopping. But yes, we got engaged and we got married. Yes, you still live with your boyfriend. He is now your husband. And actually what's crazy is a year after I filmed this video, I checked this was filmed September 30th. We'd already been married. We got married officially July 15th. I have a whole video about how we didn't get married in September. So stay tuned for that should be one of the next ones I post. But yes, we're still together, happily married. Do you still love coffee? Do you still make it at home a lot? Do you still eat at home a lot? Yes, you very much so still love coffee. You do make it at home pretty much on the weekdays. On Friday morning, for some reason, it became a ritual that we go get Seven Brew. Um, at the time, I'd stopped going to coffee shops because I really only knew about like Starbucks. And then I ventured out and found like Black Rock and some other like cute local ones back in Houston. But now Seven Brew is my main if I'm gonna go go out and get coffee. It wasn't in Texas. I don't think there is a single one in Texas, at least not near where I was living. So Seven Brew, amazing. Sugar-free cinnamon roll is my favorite, but I do still make coffee at home. I really want to get an espresso machine once it's in the budget because ah, that would just hit to make lattes at home because latte is my favorite. Are you still going to the same church or did you find a new one or are you looking for a new one for some reason? How's any of that going? Anything new with that? This makes me so sad, actually. The reason this makes me sad is the church I was going to in Houston, I swear I will never find a church church like that again. It was like the epitome of like a perfect church. It wasn't perfect by any means. I'm sure there were things that weren't perfect. As far as I knew, it was perfect. I mean, like it was a pretty big church. There were three services that happened on Sunday. They did have like a North campus as well, but we went to like the main campus. I don't even know how to describe it. There was just something for everyone. We were in like the young single adult group and all of my best friends I made were in that group. That group really pushed me to grow closer with God. We'd meet every Tuesday and then we'd hang out outside of that as well. We would always do stuff as a friend group. We had biblical discussions on Sunday after church when we went out to eat together. And like there was just always discussion going on, always pushing each other, always praying for each other to get closer to God. And it was just an incredible church, not to mention like just that group that I was in, but the church itself. I loved the pastor. Amazing. The worship there was like insanely good. I don't think I would ever find a church that could top it. They would even have like, honestly, like God definitely put me there because it transformed my relationship with God, but also with church itself. Um, I had never experienced like a positive, amazing church experience like that before. I got baptized at that church. Okay, there's my little rant about how I missed that church and I still think about it. It's my Roman Empire, thank you. 
Um, but we we're going to a church here in my hometown. We've hopped churches a couple of times. We haven't found something that quite is gonna fit for us or where we feel like God wants us to be. We've been going to this one church for like two months now, but we're gonna venture out and try out some more churches again. Um, we're not super opposed to it, but we don't think it's quite our home church. Not sure yet. We found one that actually reminds us of our church back in Houston, but like maybe on a little bit of a smaller scale, but it's giving the same vibes. We watched some of the sermons online and we wanna go give that a try. So we're actually gonna try that literally this next Sunday after I post this video. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's good. Guys, church shopping is so difficult and I honestly think it's even more difficult in the Bible Belt because there are so many churches that say they're churches and you go and it's like a motivational speech. They're not even talking about God or it's like not biblical or they're taking verses out of context. It's just like you get the full range when you live in the Bible Belt. So it has actually been quite challenging to find a church, but hopefully this will be the one. How is your relationship with God? Did you finish reading the entire Bible or did you get distracted in Romans or something? Because I do that a lot. My relationship with God is really great. I feel super close to God. He has definitely guided every step that I've made. It has definitely evolved and it's always getting better. I'm always getting closer to God. As far as finishing the Bible, um, this is so embarrassing because I, I got this in like 2021, but I'm on day 347. Keep in mind, I started this in 2021. It is 2024. I have excuses, but also at the same time, there have been times where I've taken like a week to do one of the readings because I was really diving in. Um, about halfway through doing this, I started like actually taking notes and kind of doing research on each book of the Bible and getting more context, like studying it, not just reading it. So I think that's why it's taken me so long. Plus I haven't been consistently reading my Bible every day if I'm being completely honest. So yeah, we still have, you know, I should just finish this like this. Like I literally have what, like 10 days left. Have you made any new friends and how did you make them? I did make new friends. So. Pulling back, living in Houston, before I moved, I actually made quite a bit of new friends. Um, I actually have a call with one of my friends today that I had made that year. We ended up becoming like really close friends. We would meet every Thursday and like read Christian literature together and pray for each other. It was like probably my most godly friendship I'd ever had and I really missed that friendship. And then I'd made friends with like another strong Christian girl that year as well. Then I moved and like I made so many friends that year, but I moved, so yeah. But since moving here, I actually have made some friends and that's going good. It's still kind of in like the early stages of friendship, but uh, yeah, I've made some friends. And the way I made friends is mutual hobbies. So like in Texas, it was because of church. We all went to the same church together or I would uh, involve myself in other churches, like women's groups or whatever, to try to meet people and be involved and that worked. And then here I've met people because of like hot yoga. <laughs> One of my friends is my hot yoga instructor. And my brother has a bunch of friends that I and friends with um, churches that I've gone to. I've met some girls there. I bet once I get really involved in a church, I'll start to make a lot more friends. How many times have you gone home this year? Well, this year I live at home. <laughs> But when I moved, lived in Texas, I think I had gone home like four or five times. It was quite a bit because I was like coming here to visit. We went to the lake. We came back for Christmas. We had to go house shopping, wedding dress shopping, all that. Anything new that you bought that you're excited to talk about? Oh, my house. I bought this house. <laughs> um, I actually recently I had some Amazon gift cards from like an affiliate link thing. And I bought a Kindle gooseneck holder and a Kindle button so I can leave my hands under the cover and press next page on my Kindle. The ultimate lazy girl reading setup. Anything new that just like really describes you you haven't talked about much? Ooh, um, reading. I could talk about reading all day long, but that's why I have a reading channel. What else? Well, I actually am starting my business. I talked about this a little bit in my last vlog and in my planning for the year video, but I'm starting a social media management business where I basically do what I did at my corporate job, but for multiple clients instead of working full time for one. So I've been working on getting all of that set up. There is so much that goes into starting a business. I swear they make it as difficult as possible so you don't do it because like, why is it so complicated? <sighs> I'm a little stressed, but we're getting it going. Any new piercings or tattoos? I have 10, 10 piercings. I really hope we got some of the tattoos that we wanted. 
I think in this video I hadn't gotten these tattoos, so I'll give a little update. I did make a whole vlog about getting these tattoos, but I did get the butterfly that says new creation. They're all based in Bible verses. And then I got the sword, which is the word of God that uh, is like a double-edged sword. That's from Hebrews. Why am I stuttering so much? Um, to tell us die. I've been wanting this one for a long time. This is like one of the last things that Jesus said on the cross, which means it is finished. This is in green. Week. I don't have any new piercings. I don't wear my nose ring anymore. I don't think I was in this video anyway. I might have had this done in. Oh wait, did I have it in? Am I blind? I think I have a gold one in. Anyway, I don't wear my nose ring anymore. I don't know why, I just decided that I didn't want to wear it anymore. How's the job going? Have you gotten any more like promotions or anything good or do you still work there? Like we love this job, so just update us how it's been going. You'll have worked there for over a year by the time you make this video again, so update us. Right, right, okay, so we got let go February 2nd, which was our one year and a half anniversary of working there. We did absolutely love it. It was like the best job we've ever had. It did pay really well. I had gotten another promotion and raise, but I still got let go. Uh, the economy is trash. Everybody's getting let go. If you work in tech, just be ready to get let go at any point in time. So that is how it works now, which is why I'm starting my own business. Uh, yeah, so no update. Do you have a favorite show or anything like that? What's your favorite song? Do you still mostly just listen to Christian music? My favorite show, I did watch Madam Secretary. I was really enjoying that. Whenever I had my job, I would watch shows like while I was working just on one of my screens kind of in the background. So Madam Secretary was really good for that. My favorite shows ultimately are The 100 and Vampire Diaries, but that's like old news. Ah, I can't remember what else I had watched that year. I feel like there were some shows I was really into, but I can't remember. I like never watch shows anymore because I just read, so don't remember. Um, Music, I do mostly still listen to Christian music, whether that's worship music or like Christian ending music or Christian rock, whatever it is, yes. But I also have been listening to country music, I guess. Country, kind of like vibey music, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what music I've been listening to. What did I ask? What's your favorite song? My favorite song, okay. Um. Well, let me give you my favorite worship song or Christian song. Okay, there are so many good ones, but I like the song Revelation Song. This is by Jesus Culture and Kim Walker Smith, at least the version I was listening to. My church did like a rendition of this song back in Texas and it absolutely hit. Um, my favorite non-Christian song currently, like I said, I've kind of been in the country mood, so Rock Saw and Nails by Tyler Childers. Is that how you say his name? Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know where that came from. Probably because I've been hanging out with my brother and that's the kind of music he listens to. And then also I just wanted to give one more because that one's kind of like sad vibes. So on my workout playlist, you guys can't make fun of me, but on my workout playlist, sometimes I just look up TikTok workout songs because then I'll kind of recognize them, but they're more hyped than my regular songs. So like this song. <laughs> Uh, Trapped in a Dream by Ruddy Wade. I don't know, it's on the TikTok playlist. Okay, there we go. There's me embarrassing myself for my music taste. Can you still see your UV tattoos? I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. Re uh, well, hold on. Let me see. You can kind of still see the scar outline of this one, so I'm sure you can still see them in UV. But I did check like a couple months ago and I could see them. Do you feel old being 22? Because right now I'm 21. I feel like a baby, uh, mostly because I'm like kind of the youngest in like everything I do. But I feel like 22 just sounds a lot older because 21 is like the last big birthday. So turning 22, I'm like, oh, am I old? You are not old and you're also 23 now. Um, you sounded like a baby when you were 21 because you were one and like I'm sure looking back and be like oh my gosh little 23 year old me because that's how it feels every year that's just part of getting older but you're not old you're still very young getting older is not a bad thing also uh, you feel a lot more secure in yourself you don't feel as like young and crazy which is probably a good thing so it's all good don't worry Wait, was that literally it so I guess those were all the questions I had for my future self from my past self. Oh, it's so confusing. So now I'm gonna hop into the asking my future self questions and I'm actually gonna film this correctly this time for my future self. So I'm gonna ask the question, give us brief current update and then future Sydney, 24 year old Sydney in 2025 is gonna update us. So stay tuned for next year. Here we go. Hi, future Sydney. 
I'm 23. It is February 29th. It's actually leap day, the day I'm filming this. Excited to see you. Hope everything's been going good. So just to start off, how is your year and how is being 23? This past year was really good. Being 22 was really great. I felt like we grew a lot. It was a big year for us. We moved, we got married. We actually eloped and then had our big wedding. And it was just, there was so much going on. We bought a house, we remodeled it. So just let us know how it is being settled and like more of a sane person, thank you. How is your YouTube consistency? At the time of filming this, I just revamped my YouTube channel this month. I got let go from my corporate job and decided to go full on social media for a while or for, I don't, I don't know what the plan is here, but yeah, we're pretty consistent two to three times on this channel and once on the rating channel. So do we still do the rating channel? How's that going? What about your business you were trying to start? I really hope it went well, but understandable if you decided to go a different path. So just let us know how that went. Did you end up getting to refinance your house because you wanted to do that by the end of the year, but you don't have jobs that so makes it more complicated? And did you end up moving? We're planning on staying here for like the rest of our lives. So I'll be very shocked, but Sydney, sometimes you're weird. Sometimes you do weird things. So just let us know. Did you find a home church? Right now we're struggling. We kind of just moved back to our hometown. We've been going to a church for a little bit. We kind of want to try out a new church. We found one that reminds us of our church in Texas, potentially based on online stuff. So let us know. Did you end up making more friends? Right now, your friends are kind of like your brother's friend group and then uh, your one friend that's not a part of that. And then obviously you have your long distance friends, but as far as like in-person friends, did you make new friends? Did you visit Houston? We actually have a trip potentially coming up end of March to go back and has to go back for work. So we might go with him and visit Charlie and all of our Texas friends. So did you end up getting to do that? Did you stay active with health and fitness? What does your routine look like? right now did you end up losing weight like you wanted to which is the goal every year so we'll see if that actually happened but don't be too upset if you didn't but also like what are we doing what's the plan what are we what's our routine are we doing yoga are we running are we lifting weights right now we did hot yoga for a while we're starting to get back into running we love lifting weights we've been doing a lot of walking walking is kind of our main right now walking while reading. How is your marriage? Right now, we've been married for seven months and it's been going great. I love every second of being married. So give us a little update. Um, okay, this is the one that everybody wants to know. Sydney, are you pregnant or did you have a kid? Or are you planning on getting pregnant soon? Or are you keeping it a secret and keeping it to yourself? What's the hair like? We decided to stay brunette, grow it out. I think that's just the plan going forward. But like the other day I was craving a little something, but like money and time, you know? So is it still just long and brunette? Any new tattoos or piercings? I think we were good on piercings, but you were wanting to get some new tattoos. So once again, money and time. Did you end up getting to do that? What is your current favorite song? Revelation song is our current favorite Christian song and Rock Salt and Nails is our favorite like country vibe song. What is your favorite book of this year? My current favorite book is either A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin or A Court of Silver Flames. And we're reading Throne of Glass and we love it. So who knows if that'll take over. I don't think it will because we're obsessed with A Court of Mist and Fury. Favorite show? We're not really watching shows. How is your relationship with God? Right now, my relationship with God is really solid, but I definitely think it could be better. Did you end up reading the entire Bible? Okay, at this point, at this point, you should be embarrassed if you haven't, because like, you're so close to finishing. Did you end up joining any like women's Bible studies or any Bible studies or like small groups? Like, just give us a little like church, ish update i guess and do you have any new hobbies right now we're reading i hope we stick with that we love it we have our kindle we have our books we have our reading channel we're eating it up but did you get any new hobbies and did you get to go to the lake or seven dollar city or all the fun like hometown things a lot this summer because you're really looking forward to that especially now that you're like self-employed you really wanted to do that you have seven dollar city passes that you got for christmas so please tell me you used them anyways let us know any other updates you want to share love you future sydney i hope things are going great for you they're great for me right now and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye